Okay. I said I can't. All right, there's a lot of stuff I can do. The stuff I can't do is because I need help doing it, period. I have a very bad injury here, a severe neurological injury. I just need assistance. I'm finally to that point, though. I mean, I couldn't even leave the house a couple of years ago. I couldn't even leave the house. I found medication that's helping me beautifully right now. Um, that's probably going to run out soon. So hopefully, you know, there's more healing going on. I'm going to have five years in June, June 23rd. I have driven the car. I, I have gone to, to therapy. I, I can't always do it. This stuff changes so quickly. The last time I was out in the car, I got stuck. Well, not the last time, but the last time I felt like I could just go anywhere. I got stuck for a long time and there was no one to call. I don't know how to explain to you what it's like to be this way, you know, even if I had to deal with the police right now, if my tremors and all that crap started up in front of them, they'd lock me up. There's no one to call here. Yes, I have a beautiful home. It was a fixer upper. Everything in it is broke. The swimming pool is broken. Everything here is broken. I'm very lucky. I am. I, I have two beautiful dogs. I sure do. But guess what? They don't get to go for walks. I can't even play with them most of the time. You know? They were rescues. They love their little lives, but they sure could be better. My husband, yes, he's beautiful. He's being beautiful. He's only one man. He is the only human being I have here physically for me, period. And he works for the railroad. Their schedules and their hours, and I mean, it's just nuts. My big outings are to the grocery store and occasionally to a park. Every couple of months, we, I get to go, we might go for a drive out in the desert somewhere, um, and doctors. I eat almost every meal alone. I do everything alone. And I do have trauma. I can't watch like Disney movies. I, I can't go to the park by myself. It just makes me cry. I, I, I want to belong and be around people so badly. But there's just no one else to ask. And there's no money to hire anyone. So here I sit. Yeah, I can do things here, but again, I'm alone and there's no one to call. So I have to be careful. Sometimes I can drive. Sometimes I can't. Sometimes I can draw. Sometimes I can't. Sometimes I can clean. My God, the dirt in this house. If you only knew the whole story here. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm always whining anymore. I've always been whining. I've always been crying. 
I want to scream. But at the same time, I'm also very grateful. I'm very grateful. I'm just not sure for what yet. <laughs> I'm grateful that the pain is better. It's not as bad as it used to be. I'm grateful I have my husband back. I'm grateful I'm healing and I'm grateful for all of you. I'm grateful for my broken down home. It, it could be really beautiful. It is really beautiful. It's my home. It just went out. We're going to have to uh, work through this trauma, and I have been. I don't know how anyone can go through this and not wind up with tra without trauma. Just the social rejection alone. I've been rejected by everyone. Everyone. Except for you. Thank you.